how to sync audio in Premiere Pro. What's up video creator? Welcome to another tutorial. Before we start, as you, uh, you've probably, probably seen already, it's giveaway November. I'm giving away $50 gift cards. To enter, just um, like this video. That's the first step. <laughs> Don't forget that. Leave a comment and I'll pick a winner the very next day for 30 days straight. And you'll have in total, there will be a 30 gift cards worth $1,500. And um, yeah, back to the tutorial. Okay, so we're in this situation here. We have two clips. That's how I usually create my tutorials. I have two sources. One is the screen with the microphone. And one is the camera where I'm recording myself. And usually I'm switching back and forth. And now I want to synchronize these. The first way to do it is actually select both clips and then right click and go to synchronize and in this window you will get a couple of options and under audio you can select the reference track let's leave it um, on one and then premiere pro will do its magic and it is it does a really good job synchronizing these things honestly i never had the case as you can see um it matches perfectly um I never have the case where this did not work. It's really rock solid. If you have more than two clips, you would want to go to a third party plugin, which is called Plural Eyes from Red Giant. I, I happen to have a Red Giant subscription. I will demonstrate that in a separate tutorial. Just keep in mind that that's the way to go when you have more than two clips, multicam sequences, for instance, one and a half or two years ago, I had an event. I usually don't do uh, um, uh, these multicam projects, but when you have the case that you have to match multiple cameras, plural eyes is the way to go. Sometimes you would want to match things manually. That's where this clapping comes in. Uh, you've probably seen that people clapping it works like a clapperboard in, in film production. And the purpose of that is to have a visual and an audible cue that you could match. I don't use it because in a re in a waveform in a regular audio track you have enough cues to actually match it. As you can see, these waveforms look very similar, and it for me it has always worked um, really well. I don't really use this clapping technique, but that's keep in mind that's uh, a good way to have a visual cue. You will have a spike in in the waveform. Um, it will look basically like this one here, and then you can match these spikes together. And that way it's, it's it's easier to do. And to do that, you would just place these uh, clips on the timeline, move them around until um, it's roughly close to each other. And then try to move it over. And if you need to work, if you need to be a little more accurate with this, you can actually use a shortcut, Alt and Arrow keys, or Option and Arrow keys for, for Mac users. Alt and Arrow to the right will nudge it um, frame by frame to the right, and Alt Arrow left will nudge it to, to the left, okay? If you need to be even more accurate, you could um, go to this uh, units area and then uh, hit show audio time units, which will let you zoom in even more on a subframe basis. But then you have to keep in mind that this is not going to work if you if there's a video track um, involved. So then you would have to actually, you can only move audio tracks around on a subframe basis because videos cannot be moved on a subframe basis, okay? That's one thing that you should keep in mind. And the other thing is the shortcut Alt and arrow keys is not gonna work. Uh, you are left to moving it around with the mouse. Okay, that's another thing to keep in mind. You could um, just right click and unlink if you want to use this track only. Um, quick tip, another thing, if you don't want to unlink it, when you hold the Alt or Option key and hit this uh, audio track, it will select only that audio track. And then you can move that around independently. Okay, that's uh, another way to, uh, to separate these clips. And if if you select it with the uh, with this with the Alt key and let go and deselect, it will still stay. Uh, it will still be linked, right? Yeah. So when we play this, I've added some highlights. Of course, that that uh, lightning. This, this As you can see, the recording of the of the microphone is much much warmer, much uh, cleaner. 
and the, uh, the, the recording from the, the, the audio from the camera. Well, because it's a very bright and hot light source. Um, that one I would probably want to want to uh, delete and then work with only uh, usually <laughs> some of the clean audio. I have a separate tutorial planned on how I actually clean up the audio and lift the gain and do my audio processing. A couple of you um, have ha have asked had asked how I do that, so that's another tutorial. But for now, just know when you have two clips, the built-in synchronized function is going to work just fine. Um, under audio, you can select the reference track. You can do it manually by moving it around if you need to work. A little more accurately you can use the shortcut alt and arrow keys by the way alt and shift arrow will move uh, five frames and alt and arrow without shift will move frame by frame and if you need to be even more accurate just um, activate the show audio time units option and and uh, be aware that it's not going to work if a video is involved it only works with audio clips all right, we have another winner. Yesterday's gift card. I just um, started this um, common picker process, and yesterday's gift card is for Xbo, double Xbo, whatever that means. Another cool username. Congratulations. Have fun with the gift card. Um, you should have an either a, a, a Amazon.com account to redeem your uh, gift card. I made the mistake to send them from my German profile. The other ones. But we worked, we worked it out, um, Amazon.com, or if that doesn't work, um, I'll send it to you with PayPal. These, these two options you have. Congratulations, Expo. Um, and um, all the other ones, uh, don't be sad. You have enough, enough other chances. Tomorrow is the next chance. If you, if you don't win tomorrow, the day after, and so on until November 30th. So many gift cards giving away, $1,500 in total. All right, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it informative. Um, consider subscribing. Hit that bell to not miss any new tutorials or now in November, any other chances to win the gift cards. And I hope I will see you in the next video. <laughs>